Multiliters can be just as important as dimensions when annotating your drawing. They can be used to specify building materials, typical conditions, or give special instructions to the contractor. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create multiliters. On my screen, I've got a tree planting detail. Let's zoom in a little bit. And I've got an example of a multiliter right here. Sometimes these guys are also referred to as callouts. Now, a multiliter is nothing more than a text object that's associated with a leader. Let's create one. The multiliter tool is located right here in the annotation panel. And the first thing we'll do is specify the location of our arrowhead. And then I'll pull out to create my leader and click. And then I can enter my text. Notice that the text associated with a multiliter is multi-line text. So we have access to all of the same formatting options. As I type this, if I'd like word wrap, I can click and hold on these arrows and I can drag this over to set the width of my column. When I'm finished, I'll click on screen. Now, one of the nicest things about multi-leaders is that AutoCAD lets me choose how I'd like to create them. Let's make another. This time, instead of placing my arrowhead, I'm going to right click and I'm going to select content first. Now I can create my text column and we can add the leader afterward. As soon as I click on screen to finish my text, I can then place my arrow and I can place it to either side. Now it's important to note that the method that you use last will become the default the next time you launch the command. I'm going to create one more and I prefer to place the arrowhead first. I'm going to give myself a little word ramp and we'll finish this up. When it comes to adding callouts to your drawing, nothing is as flexible and fast as multi-leaders.